Hello everybody and welcome to a Deck Tech on the Constructor Criticism YouTube channel. I'm Spencer, host of Constructor Criticism and Limited Time Only, two podcasts about getting better at Magic the Gathering. Today is exciting. We're going to talk about the deck that swept the Pro Tour and people are raving about, Maru Vehicles. This is the deck that, uh, that the uh, people on Team Constructor Criticism actually took to the Pro Tour. This is not the deck list that they took, but we are going to talk about a little bit about the deck overall uh, and what... I would be currently playing with the deck, not what we took to the Pro Tour, um, as uh, I wouldn't play what we took, to the, what the team took to the Pro Tour. So, but let's get right into this. So, um, one of the key cards that I think is really important in the deck uh, right now is Cultivator's Caravan. The card's three mana for a five five. Uh, you can tap it for any color of mana, and it has a crew cost of three. And the reason I think this card is important is for another reason in this deck. And then I think in the mirror, the importance of this card is how big it is, and then the importance of Gideon. And just being able to attack in the mirror is going to be pretty big for you, as well as having something that comes down and gives you advantages uh, in the form of large creatures that they can't attack through. Um, next up, we have four Heart of Kirin. We have one Dapala Pilot Exemplar, uh, one Inventor's Apprentice, two Pianalar. 4 Scrap Heap Scrounger, 1 Thalia Heretic Cathar, 4 Thraben Inspector, 4 Toolcraft Exemplar, 4 Veteran Motorists, 3 Shock, 4 Unlicensed Disintegration, 2 Ether Hub, 4 Concealed Courtyard, 4 Inspiring Vantage, 2 Mountain, 1 Needle Spires, 3 Planes, 4 Spire of Industry, and 3 Spire Buff Canal. We also have those 3 Gideons that we mentioned earlier. Now, a few things about this deck. You'll notice that there's 23 lands over 21 or 22. One of the reasons for that is we just want to play more Gideons right now. I think that the card, the decks that did the best at the Pro Tour were all playing Gideon. And that's really important. One of the things that we didn't do as a team is we didn't play Gideon. Um, you know, it was not something that was high on our list. Uh, we played a deck with main deck uh, Metallic Rebuke instead and main deck Fatal Push. I keep saying we, I did not go to the partner, but the team played that. Um, and honestly, I think it was definitely a mistake, and I think that Gideon is a huge part of winning the mirror match by making your creatures bigger than your opponents. And also just this really resilient threat to some of the sweepers that people might be playing. One of the key cards that we'll talk about here is Heart of Karen. Um, you know, having Gideon in your deck, making making a guy or plusing Gideon, minusing Gideon to crew Heart of Karen, and just getting huge attacks in this pretty big and I think that you know playing for Heart of Kieran that you just want some number of Gideon. Uh, next up you'll see that we have a couple of one ofs in the deck in the form of one Dapala, one Inventor's Apprentice, and one Thalia. Now a few things. I actually do wish that there was room to play another Inventor's Apprentice but I think that you just can't afford to. Um, I could see cutting Depala for that Inventor's Apprentice if you just want to be a little bit faster. But Depala does that similar thing that we talked about with Gideon, where she just makes your guys big enough to do other things. Uh, you know, both Toolcraft Exemplar and Veteran Motorist or Dwarves, as well as just your vehicles. You know, if you have a 6-6 uh, or even a 7-7 seven, seven Cultivator's Caravan, if you were crewing it with a Veteran Motorist with a Depala in play, it's just this thing that's huge it's just this massive threat uh, that's one third of their life total and stuff like that so it, it's just i think that depala does a lot in the deck um also you know lets you try and gain a little bit of card advantage late in the game things like that so i think the card overall just does the right job for what you need in the deck enough to merit that one of so for that reason that's why you have the one of inventor's apprentice thalia is one that lots of people had two ofs even some people uh you know, some people just had the one-ups, but I think that it's an important part of the deck. It's It does enough in the format between interacting with the combo as well as creating your vehicles uh, and has first strikes. So that it might be something that you just want. So I think it's pretty important to have in the deck. You notice that we have shocks instead of fatal pushes and unlicensed disintegration. We have four of those. Um, shock is just this huge tempo play all the time. It could be that in the format you could want... Um, Fatal Push, but your mana is better if you're playing Shock, and you have Unlicensed Disintegration as a catch-all instead. Um, and also, you can finish them off with Shock, which is one of the reasons to have that in the main deck. So that's that's pretty important. The mana got a lot better in this deck with Spire of Industry, something that we noticed as a team. Uh, you just get... To, I mean, it's just... A, just an. A, <laughs> it's like a... It's like a really, really good City of Brass. Like, it's just really good. Um... So for that reason, like, it just made the dex mana a lot better. Um, 
you know, we only have three Spire Buff Canals in the main because we don't have any blue cards in the main, but we do have blue cards on the board, and that's what we'll go to now. We have a sideboard of one Sky Sovereign Console Flagship, two Ceremonious Rejection, three Fatal Push, three Metallic Rebuke, one Spire Bluff Canal, two Chandra Port. Uh, Porch of Defiance. That's a great name for a card. Somebody should make that. Chandra Torch of Defiance, one Fumigate, and two Regrease, the, the Gremlins. And there's a few things that I want to talk about here. First of all, it's some of the, the huge uh, Haymakers in the form of Chandra and Sky Sovereign. I think that just having Haymakers post board and giving things that'll give you either virtual or actual card advantage is really important. Um, you'll also notice Fumigate. Um, one thing that we saw a few times on coverage uh, was just the power of Fumigate against the green-black decks. I think that even a deck like this can really leverage that. Because as you're playing your vehicles out and they're removing your guys, you can just Fumigate and then really push ahead. And it's it's pretty important, especially when you consider that against those decks, you'll be bringing in like things like Chandra and Sky Sovereign. And the way you'll win is through those cards in Gideon. So that's that's a pretty important deal. We have that one of Spire Bluff Canal. That is for when we're going bigger and when we're bringing in Metallic Rebuke just to have enough blue sources. Metallic Rebuke, instead of Negate, is really important. I, I think that this card is just great in this deck. Uh, you know, we had Team F Channel Fireable Ice play it. We actually played it in the main for our team at the Pro Tour. It's just a perfect addition to the deck and something that the deck really likes. Um, you know, when you're as fast as this deck is, that counter, unless they pay three, is usually just good enough to be, you know, Mana Leak. And, and Mana Leak's just a broken magic card in standard, so it's really good. Release the Gremlins is a new addition to the sideboard. This card is Manic Vandal with Upside, which is already a playable sideboard card in multiple decks, and I, I think this card is just pure upside and a uh, huge, huge addition, letting you get rid of multiple artifacts at once uh, is really going to keep artifacts in check a little bit better in this format. So release Gremlins, uh, even in the mirror matches, it's pretty decent. That is it for this deck and the main deck and the way that we would build it or I would build it right now. Let us know if you have any questions. Leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe on the YouTube channel. You can also go support this content by going to patreon.com slash ccmtg, and we will see you guys all next time.